How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another SSR Nash's video and I want to apologize for the previous one. There was a portion of the video where I just kept repeating the same thing and basically I just forgot to edit it out. I honestly thought I did because during that part where I just kept repeating the same thing over and over again I was just like okay I'm gonna have to edit this part out and then I went into the software I found the part and I'm pretty sure I did cut it out but if you go back and watch the video now, that part isn't there anymore because I did use the YouTube editing tools to remove that part. But, um, funny story, when I used to um, edit a lot of these SSL analysis videos, I used to repeat a single sentence over and over again until I got it right, and that just drove me absolutely nuts. So, the same thing kind of happened here, but the only difference is that... I forgot to cut it out so I apologize for that and I read a lot of your feedback saying that I should just basically be prepared for my SSR analysis videos like when I'm jumping into these I know what um, what I want to say about the unit but I think the majority of the problems do come when I'm making a team so I basically just went ahead and made them before because normally what I would do is just make them up as I go and in doing that I did make a few mistakes for example in the world tournament video I forgot Xeno Trunks and um, yesterday I had a lot of Goku and Super Saiyan Goku in the same team, even though you can't have that. So, like, that kind of frustrates me because I know that can't happen. So, from now on, everything is just going to be at a top quality because I know that you guys are here for an informative video, not for me to make mistakes and, uh, you know, just stupid things. So, from now on, everything is going to be at a really good level of quality and no mistakes from now on. So, um, I hope you guys... Do you forgive me for that little blunder, but here we go. Gonna jump into it with Demon King Piccolo. His leader skill gives two key and a 30% stat boost to tech in an STR type. Still no physical STR. <laughs> um, causes supreme damage and uh, may stun the enemy. I'm pretty sure that is a 15% chance. Okay, so it's a 25% chance for two turns. That's actually not too bad. Obviously, it isn't that high, but it can be useful in certain situations. Tech doesn't have too many good stunners. If I, um not mistaken but his passive is actually pretty damn good if we quickly go ahead and compare it to what it was before i'm pretty sure it was like 10 percent maybe less uh oh okay so you gave uh key to tech and in types which is not that great to be honest it definitely has improved a lot key, um, key plus three to extreme types and attack by um, up by 25 percent that's okay on a tech team. The reason why it's not as good on a villain team is because Rose is, just does that himself. He doesn't give the attack boost, but he does give the free key to all types, and you have um, you already have two Roses, so it doesn't really matter. However, if you were to run a merge to Masu slash Rose Lee, this could be a very, very good passive skill because it's a lot harder to run a merge to Masu Rose lead because you have to rely on Rose a lot. You definitely do need those two Roses. Um, basically, you need a Rose every single turn to allow your units to super attack. Otherwise, it's just not going to work because villains don't have that many good links. That was just a problem, a problem before. Heroes don't have that same problem because they have at least two, three top tier links. So, if you want to map, if you want that team to work, if you want a merge Masu, a merge and Masu slash Rose lead to work, or a merge and Masu slash merge and Masu lead to work. Units like this will definitely help that. But again, the problem here is that he doesn't have too many top tier links. That was like, just looking at him straight away, that was my main problem with him. But as soon as I saw that pass, I was like, wow, he's actually pretty damn good. He could provide something to a specific villain team and monotech um, especially. And obviously, I will get to that in a few moments. So he has First for Conquest, Demon, Strength in Unity, The Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Nightmare, and Shattering the Limit. So again, Rebirth Link. No top tier links here, unfortunately. Nightmare actually isn't too bad, if I'm not mistaken, that is an attack link that provides a 10% attack boost. Let's have a double check. Yes, he does. He shares that with Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, and Goku Black, of course, which is a nice attack link to have. So, he does provide a few things here and there. He provides key with his passive, he provides an attack boost with his passive, and he has decent attack links, so that's nice. He has a pretty high attack stat as well. Interesting 12 key multiplier, uh, multiplier of 138. But let's move on to the teams, which, again, are pre-made already, so no mistakes can be made, thankfully. So, um, I looked at his passive skill and I thought, okay, let's utilize this a bit. Merge the Master, okay, he, he um, does link pretty well with um, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and um, Vegito because they both have Youth Fighter. 
So I thought let's go ahead and take it a step further and implement Golden Freezer into this team. He doesn't have any key links with any of these units, but we do have Demon King Piccolo in here. He will be able to give Freezer more key. Obviously his main um, thing for the team or his main his main use in this team is to be able to tank and deal damage so there may be a few situations where he won't be able to launch a super attack however if you do have a unit with, um, like Bardock with him or a unit like Piccolo with him on the same turn he is going to be able to super attack no problem. Merge and Mars he won't have as much of a problem with um, super attacking because again he does link well with the uh, majority of the units here and the majority of the time you will be able to get at least one unit with Feast Fighter or King Piccolo with him. And again, you do have Bardock who is an who is an excellent orb changer and I honestly don't see you having a problem unless you do um, have just really bad orb placement and obviously don't set up, set up your characters in the right way. But overall this team actually isn't that bad at all. You have a lot of attack boosts from, um, well I say you have a lot of attack boosts but I'm pretty sure this is the Nightmare Link. And you also get a 25% attack boost from Demon King Piccolo's passive. Additionally, you do also get an attack and offensive boost from Vegito, and he just links really well on his team. And of course, you have Golden Freezer, who just normally wouldn't link that well on a monotech uh, mono team anyway because of shocking speed, but this is definitely a nice way of implementing him whilst having a decent unit on your team. So if we go ahead and move on to the villain team, these three are going to be your optimal units. Of course, Super Saiyan Rose, Omega Shenron, and Buhan. If you have those units, you're going to be running them 100% of the time. 100% um, of the time. The problem here, as I said um, before, is that you don't need key for this team unless you are running a double merge and Marsu lead or a merge and Marsu rose lead. Merge and Marsu rose lead does work much better than a double merge and Marsu lead, but a unit like King Piccolo will definitely help you out immensely if you do want to run double merge and Marsu because you're obviously missing out on like an additional 40% boost to all stats. Um, double Rose obviously gives 100%, whereas Double Merge and Marsu gives 140%. So having a, um, a unit like King Piccolo in there would make your life a whole, um, whole lot easier, especially if you're not super attacking that frequently. So he's definitely a great unit to have. And not only does he provide key, but he also gives a 25% attack boost. So he is essentially a support unit. And again, as I've said before, support units are definitely overlooked because they don't hit hard, but just think about it um, think about it this way not only will you be able to get an additional boost from a double um, St. Masu lead leader skill but you will also be able to get a nice attack boost so I think it's a win-win personally but obviously it's, or it's all opinion basically it's all what you pr um, prefer some of you may prefer having some of your units hit harder whereas some of you may like having all of your units hit extremely hard so Overall, I like this team. I'll definitely run it myself, especially if I have Merge Demarcy. I'll definitely try a Merge Demarcy lead with this team. But now, let's move on to Elder Demon King Piccolo. Obviously, a very good leader skill straight off the bat. Two key and a 20% stat boost. Not as much, not as big of a stat boost as the um, Demon King Piccolo. The Demon King Piccolo, of course. But let's go back here. Causes supreme damage and lowers defense, so the previous King Piccolo does not do that. He stuns instead. Attack reduced by 25% for all opponents. That is so damn good. And of course, I'll get to that in a moment. I wish heroes had more passives like that. Of course, he do have um, SS Blue Vegeta, who has a similar um, passive skill, but it's against villains only. So it's a shame. And if we have a look at his links, he has Revival, Demon, Strength, and Unity. The Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon, Ball, Dragon Balls, Nightmare, and Shattering the Limb. He has a 12 key multiplier of 135, but overall he is a solid unit. I wish he was a hero instead, but obviously he isn't because he's a villain. And that is what he was in the series, if you haven't seen the series already, Dragon Ball. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump over the villain scene first. Apparently I switched the uh, order around, so... Again, you have the three core units here. You actually have the same team here, but the only difference is that you are obviously using um, the in the Demon King Piccolo because then Janemba greatly lowers defense as well. So every unit here technically does debuff, but only these two lower attacks. So keep that in mind. And then you have 
again, Demon King Piccolo, who lowers attack himself, and that is so, so good when you don't have Buhan and when you don't have Omega Shenron on that turn. And keep in mind that to lower attack with Buhan, you do have to um, super attack. So if you are running a merge, double merge of Marcy lead and you don't super attack with Bu um, Buhan, that is a lot of his, I would say, specialities gone because obviously he heals, he lowers attack and defense. Those are basically his biggest things. And he obviously can hit hard if you collect the, um, a lot of orbs, but. He, his main utility is being able to heal and lower attack and defense because that obviously does allow you to survive longer. Omega Shenron on the other hand, his passive activates just instantly. So you don't have to attack anyone, it just activates and that is a, obviously a really nice leader skill, and um, passive skill rather. And it's, exact, and it's the exact same with Demon King Piccolo, it just activates as soon as the turn starts and that could definitely be useful again if you don't have Buhan, if you don't have Mega Shenron on the field, or if you can't super attack with Buhan, because that will allow you to survive. Okay, so if we now move on to the Mono in team, of course we have Super Saiyan Rage Trunks, Buhan, SS Blue Vegeta, Turles, Janemba, and of course we have Demon King Piccolo. Again, tons of debuffing in this team. Of course, you have the double Buhan lead, who um, both Buhans, of course, are going to be debuffing with their super attacks. You have Vegeta, who debuffs against villains. Turles you can stun, obviously that isn't a debuff, but he does give free key to all types as well as a 20% attack boost if I'm not mistaken. Yep, when HP is 50% or above, you have Janemba who guards against all types. You have Super Saiyan Trunks who is self, um, self sufficient and is obviously a nuker. SS Blue Vegeta again debuffs and he also gets a 100% attack boost. So this team works really well, and of course you have Demon King Piccolo here, he doesn't link that well with some of the units here, but that is why Turles is here, to give um, key to um, the units that are unfortunate, so to speak, to come up on the same turn, as Demon, um, same turn as Demon King Piccolo, because obviously he isn't going to be providing key, and with Turles on that turn, you can obviously bridge the gaps and just provide that additional key needed to super attack with your other units but overall he is a pretty damn good unit um, especially if you do want to run a team that debuffs a lot more he's I would say it's a lot harder to implement the in Demon King Piccolo into a team just simply because he doesn't provide key like the tech type but overall he is a good unit he definitely does have a lot of utility but that is it guys, I hope you all enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed this double analysis, I will hopefully be able to finish off all the rebuffs today, but um, I would like to apologise again for the last video, but hopefully from now on we can maintain this level of quality, um, if you have any more suggestions for future videos let me know as always, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.